So good morning everyone. How is your day so far? Okay, that's good to hear. So can I expect a full blast of energy and active participation from you? So before we begin the lesson this morning, let us ask the guidance of Almighty God and let us enlighten our mind to completely understand the lesson this morning. I would like to request everyone to please pay attention while I'm discussing this morning. So now let's get started. The topic of my presentation is all about education and gender rule. Then let's have first the objective so that we be guided as we go along with the discussion. So in this presentation, I will cover two main points. At the end of this lecture, you should be able to first compare and contrast boys and girls schooling from kindergarten through high school based on the influence of their gender. Second is describe the gender consequences of higher education related to major career paths and graduate school. Then I reflect on this question, what is the process of education? So just please keep your answer for a moment and we will check it later after my discussion. For now, just listen and take note of the concept discussed in this lecture. Okay, there is no wrong or correct answer. So first, the process of education. The process of education when, when children enter the classroom, um, the already sublist um, gender rule patterns follow them. Like for example, in classroom, boys and girls are thought what toys and games are, are appropriate for um, gender identity. Like for example, sa school, ang mga trabaho un sa classroom is nakaset na kon uno na trabaho kon na busot sa ila. Based sa ila gender identity, ang panili is para sa base na gasod at maglabak ng basura is manyaki na gasod. Amazon um, nakaset na, tagbahin-bahin na ang mga trabaho ni sa kung saliyaki, saliyaki, tagazo. So, these are patterns established in all types of insti institution. So, there was instant and um, where one of my um, batchmates asked me, why only home economics will offer for your school? So, I answered back, that is a regional order to allow the uh, pupil to focus on the essential of daily specialization in this time of pandemic, which is also basic and one of the most Ang sagot niya is, paano daw ako lalaki kapag home economics daw, puro pang babae. So, ang tanong ko, paano naging pang babae ang mga gawain tulad ng, like for example, paglilinis ng bahay at kapaligiran, pagluluto, pag-aayos ng sarili at kanyang mga kagabitan. Kung saan ito ay, ito ay tinuturo sa home economics. Ibig sabihin ba, dahil siya ay lalaki, pwede na siyang hindi maglinis, hindi na magluto, hindi na mag-ayos ng bahay kasi naging bias ito sa kanya. So, if teacher do not understand or people do not understand gender and development and the rule of education in shaping, in shaping gender and development, what will our education or what will education in our community will look like and what kind of generation are we, um, are we producing if that is how people think we will eventually produce more stereotypes in in our society. So next is kindergarten and early childhood education. So in in kindergarten, they continues a process of self-selected gender segregation that increases throughout the school years. So children get to choose their own activities, pa and topics, and this keep them interested because in this level of um, school are they are going through the process of adjusting to the school seating they should be given ample time to demonstrate their um their abilities um, beginning in childhood children spend most of their time playing with their same gender and forms same gender friendship 
this tendency is referred to as gender segregation and may arise because of children of, of the same gender share interest and interact with one another in, in similar ways. So, in elementary and middle school, for girls, elementary school and middle school are site of achievements. So there are uh, differences between boys and girls when it comes to academic. Kasagara ang mga babase sa taga nila nan, pagtaga, sputa sa yaki. So I observe primary kids classroom. A good number of girls would routinely raise their hands, share their opinions and ideas, and volunteer to read aloud. So as a future teacher, we should encourage both, both gender that their expectations are the same for all the uh, students. So we should raise awareness of the, of the tendency to read boys higher than girls in, in subjects such as mathematics, science, engineering, and technology because both and girls can succeed at math, science, language, art, and sport, and anything. As a future teacher, we should um, empower our students to believe in their power, to believe in their potential, to achieve their um, dreams regardless of their gender identity because I believe we, the future teachers, we can, change, we can change the future of society into one that is fair, more fulfilling, and more prosperous each and every. And that's what we all want to see. So, uh, please focus on this next slide. Next is gender curriculum. curriculum. So, what are the um, gender issues in curriculum, guys? Okay. Gender inequality in curriculum exposes indication that female and male learners are not treated equally in various types of curriculum. So, for example, gender inequality in curriculum exposes indication that female and male learners are not um, treated equally in various types of curriculum. Like, for example, subject, subjects. Okay, in subjects like language, arts, girls receive more teacher interaction than boys because these subjects are considered for feminine para sa mga base. So, how can we prevent um, this gender bias in the classroom? So, when teaching Gani, when teaching ethics or field requires students to identify and analyze gender stereotype expectation within the context of the story and use texts or stories that demonstrate that the worth and happiness do not stem from physical appearances. So let us, for example, let us take a look at our textbook. Our textbooks sometimes a trigger or underscore the appropriate task for males and females. When children will see this picture, they will grow up bringing this thought that there are um, always certain things for men and certain things for women. So our, our textbooks images sometimes smaka triggers in, trigger inequality among our learners. The picture will sometimes favor only one person na and even some population are associated with sexes and gender. Pag teachers babae, pag doctor lalaki, pag polis lalaki, education is pang babae. These are proliferating within the bounds of our learnings based on our learning materials that would lead to confusion to our future learners. So in high school, as measured by standardized tests and, and grades, achievements for girls in reading and writing tends to plateau, and their advantages and math begins to decline in middle school. So boys' reading scores plateau or show slight declines as early as second grade. Boys identify with math more strongly than girls. So when it comes to um, academic sa mga babae ni Taas pero uh, sa pag-advantage nila sa math is ni decline ni Mubo in, in middle school so students are more likely to, likely to do better on other measure of success beyond test scores such as school attendance and etc. So ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's the end of my talk today. I can see that our time is just about so to finish, I'd like to say thank you. I sincerely appreciate that I've had this opportunity to present to you. So if anyone has any question, I'd have um, really answer up my members. So I, I would now be interested to hear from you with your thoughts or my questions, feedback, feedback, yes. Thank you.